we looked at what the need was, how we're going to meet that intent, and then establish or strengthen the existing lines of communication that we had with the veterans organizations that were here in the valley. So as far as coordination with Dave Thomas, uh, that that email from last night was the first one I heard or saw about. Do you, let me ask you something, just be, between you and me. Do you think it was fair to name the organization Nevada Veterans in Politics when the Veterans in Politics uh, International has been known for many, many years by that title? And by the way, I didn't even know it was Veterans in Politics International until this all came out. I've always just known it as Veterans in Politics. That's what, I mean, that's how it's, it's always been identified in, in print and, and everything else. So saying Nevada Veterans in Politics does lend a sense of confusion to that. Don't you, 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 you believe that? No, no, and that's, that's going to be a part of, uh, as far as the graphics that we're going to use to represent our organization, um, the way that we communicate is going to be different uh, along with, uh, you know, just the way that we market ourselves uh, through the community uh, is going to be uh, also different. But Dave, Dave Thomas is connected with your organization. Actually, I haven't talked to Dave uh, about this organization. Uh, it was, like I said, it was me between a discussion between me and Mr. Keen uh, that, that started this, uh, along with a couple other folks that I've uh, talked to uh, in, uh, when I've gone to other uh, organizations' functions. Do you, don't you find it quizzical, though, that in his email he, he, he lays out the desire, and again, I'm quoting this here, to isolate and blackball Steve Sanson and his organization? I and mean, those are pretty strong words. It is, but like I said, uh, Nevada Veterans in Politics, that is not our intent. Uh, the reason being is because uh, going into uh, what is being said there would take away from what we should be doing for veterans, uh, addressing certain issues that, that have yet to be addressed. But who is he speaking for then? Who is Dave Thomas speaking for when he says that? Uh, that I don't know. Well, I mean, he, he singles out Steve Sanson and his organization. So it seems to me, again, we have two organizations here going back and forth, and it seems to me that he is uh, trying to, uh, as in his words, isolate and blackball Steve Sanson. As I said, I've got no dog in the hunt. I'm trying to understand and, and, and clarify my, my misunderstanding of this whole thing, okay? And my misunderstanding is, is and there's obviously was a concerted effort made somewhere along the line to try to get an organization going that was going to directly compete with Steve Sanson's organization. I mean, do you agree with that? I, I, I don't know that piece. The only concerted effort that I was focused on was establishing those lines of communication with the organizations that I've opened uh, a dialogue with in the past few months. Did you begin, Did you? were you the one who created this idea of this organization? Uh, no, actually, me, me and Mr. James talked talk about it. Uh, we knew that the organization existed we, we got the uh, which organization? I'm sorry. Well, the Nevada Veterans in Politics. It uh, existed already. Right. We we knew that it was new, but we didn't know who the officers were uh, until this email. But the only thing that we had received was the uh, certificate from Secretary of State. Uh,